In this week's vlog, we are going to unpack and assemble this giant stack of furniture. It's either going to look amazing like the wall construction and totally elevate the loft, or it's going to be a mismatched mess. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. It's been a while since I made a good old fashioned New York City vlog and a ton has happened over the past two months. So I'm gonna catch you guys up on just what's been going on in life. I've been traveling pretty nonstop filming episodes of my series Luxury Listings where I tour some of the craziest houses across America. I was out in Colorado filming five episodes. Those are going live on the channel now, so make sure to go check them out. And for the last month or so, this huge mountain of furniture has been, well, dauntingly sitting here waiting for me to unpack it. But I have to say, assembling furniture solo is quite the undertaking. A lot of these pieces, you definitely need two people. So my mom was actually kind kind enough to come up to the city. She hasn't been here in, I think since the pandemic, and she actually helped me assemble the majority of this furniture. Of course, as always, Theo was sitting there looking cute as can be, supervising the furniture construction process. And the majority of this furniture is mid-century modern from this company called Article. I've actually furnished, I think two, Two of my past apartments with Article, I love their stuff. It's minimal, it's clean, and it's super easy to put together. All in all, it took us about two to three hours to assemble all the furniture. So mom, if you're watching this, you're the best. I know you hate coming up and driving in the city, so Theo and I appreciate you coming up to help and build the beautiful furniture. Look at that shelf right there, bare shelf. I actually have to get a lot of things because right now it's pretty empty. Definitely some plants are in order. Oh, and speaking, normally I'm a fan of real plants, but I opted for this fake fig tree just because I will be traveling a lot and this guy won't die on me. You can kind of tell he looks fake, but at the same time it looks real if you're not really focusing on it. So for now, it'll work. Fake fig will work. I am making a full furnished apartment tour coming in the next week or so, but in the meantime, here's a quick sneak peek of the pieces. There's the table, new bench in the corner, the shelf. Actually, let me head on into the bedroom just to show you this. Not, not too much, because I want to save some of the mystery. There is the bed, California King, and I've kept it pretty minimal in here on purpose. You can see behind me this whole wall I've left open, and that's because I actually have this projector which, I mean, you'll see in the tour, this room essentially turns into a giant movie theater. But that's just a quick peek. I will be doing that full furnished tour in the next week or so. Also in the last week, I kind of dipped my toes into fatherhood and parenting. Before everyone goes crazy, there's no baby for me in the near future, at least. Theo, for the time being, is definitely filling that department of a creature to take care of. But my niece Margot came up to the city to celebrate her very first birthday here in the city. And I, I have to say, I've always wanted to start a family, but the idea of having a baby's always been a little daunting. And I have to say, after caring for Margot over the past week, you know, changing some diapers, watching her just think and process things, yeah, definitely in the future, a baby. Uh, I mean, first I have to find a wife, but, but I'm not getting any younger. Starting a family in the near future is definitely something not in the forefront of my mind, but definitely it's, it's up there in the mind, swooning around somewhere. Another big update, if you're following me on Instagram, you saw I just finished a 10 week long fitness transformation. I have been putting in the work, I'm talking about every single morning for the past 10 weeks, and the results have been pretty impressive, and a huge part of that is diet. My diet has been so strict. Now pre-workout, I'll have a light meal, just something with a good amount of protein, no sugar, just to get me the energy to get through that workout, and then I'll have my huge post-workout meal and actually for my pre-workout meal a lot of days I'll have cereal. I'd like to thank Magic Spoon, the sponsor of this portion of the video. It's the classic cereal that we all had growing up reinvented. It comes in cocoa, frosted, peanut butter. It also comes in fruity, but I actually ate the entire box before filming this video. But back to fitness and health, the main thing about this cereal is the nutrition. Magic Spoon cereals have 13 to 14 grams of protein, four net grams of 
of carbs and zero sugar. Now, if you're into fitness, you know sugar is the devil. Sugar is the enemy. That might be a little intense, but sugar is not good for you. The cereal is also keto friendly. It's gluten free, it's soy free, grain free, low carb, and GMO free. It's funny, I mentioned my niece Margo was in town for the past week or so, and Margo actually liked Magic Spoon almost more than I did. If you click the link down below and use the code Eric Conover, you are going to get $5 off your order. And it's backed with 100% guarantee. If you don't like it, you can actually send it back and get your money back, which I highly doubt will happen. Like I said, I will go through these remaining three boxes in the next few days. And with that, I'm gonna shower, get dressed, because we are going to an event tonight. <laughs> I was shocked at the turnout for this event. It was an evening at Dancing with the Stars at my newest development project, Skyline Tower. I actually made a video touring the entire building about three months ago, so if you haven't, go on and check out that video. It is, I mean, the building is the tallest building in Queens, in Long Island City. It's very, very impressive. But anyway, we had live music at the event, and I would say at least 500 people showed up for this thing. And we held it on the outdoor patio space, which is 4,000 square feet, right at the foot of the building overlooking the entire skyline of Manhattan. It was pretty awesome and it was the first time in easily over a year where I went out to an event. Now that everyone's vaccinated, the city's opening back up, it was cool to have something that felt and resembled some type of normalcy just because the past, what is it now, 14 months? have been anything but normal. And I want to thank every single person who came out to the event. Some people even drove up from Philadelphia just to go to the event. So I wanna thank everyone for coming out, for meeting me, for wanting to take some photos. So if there is a future event, I'll post all the information on Instagram stories. You said it's too big to get in the front door. Okay, I'll be right down. So that was my super. And he said that I have a delivery that is too big to get in the front door. And uh, I'm expecting a package, I'm expecting some art because, you know, check the walls out. We have huge open walls here. And I linked up with a super talented artist outside of Denver and he's agreed to send some paintings to put in my apartment for the time being, essentially as a living gallery. So these pieces that we're about to get, if you're interested, they are for sale. If we can get them inside the apartment. So let's head downstairs and uh, see what's going on. So the art came in a crate that is just about seven feet high. The pieces themselves are just about six foot, so they can't get through the front door. So I'm gonna grab my screwdriver, a hammer, and disassemble this crate and bring them up by hand. Mark, if you are watching this, I am blown away. Your work is so beautiful, especially in this space. You can really get the scale of these paintings just because this loft is huge. I'm just trying to figure out now where to piece and place everything. I'm gonna probably be resting them along the, you know, the top of the radiator or against the walls for now before I can properly hang up these pieces. I wanna mention that all these pieces in here are for sale, so that information is down below in the description. If you are looking to purchase one of these or have a piece commissioned by Mark himself, I hope you enjoyed this quick update vlog. If you did, give a thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing down below in the comment section of this video. And with that, I will see you in the next New York City vlog.